the school on Tuesday the 29th of November 2022. <clears throat> I read uh, Marvel Disassembled. Or Avengers Disassembled, I guess. It's good. I like the way that it's not all directly connected. Or like some wee mini connections. I like that. Um, instead of having it all... You know, it, it's coincidental that they've all fell at the same time. Instead of it being a coordinated attack from someone. <clears throat> um, that's all to say. So, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the reason why I read it... And the reason I only heard of it is because... I'm currently reading... And I, I can probably do a review for this if I haven't already, but I'm cur I was reading uh, the 2016 run of Spider-Man where Miles Morales is the main Spider-Man. <clears throat> and issue 6 is part of Civil War 2, so I thought, oh, I need to read Civil War 1. So I looked up Civil War 1, and apparently Civil War 1, uh, you need to read Avengers Assembled first, and House of M, and Decimated. Then you read Civil War. And then before you read Civil War 2, you need to read something else. So, yeah. I, that's all I really said about it. I, um, I was reading... and I, Oh, I forgot. You also need to read Secret War. Which is what I'm currently doing. And I was reading that, and I was like, right. When I finish this issue, I'm going to ask the teacher to... Put up a, you know, an assignment for all the stuff that I've already done, so she can mark it in case I need to do more. But someone beat me to it, so it's up. And see me, I uploaded the storyboards. Didn't get a chance to upload anything else though. Also, while I was there, the media teacher uploaded work where you need to write a 500 word, basically statement of intent. Um, and it's been split up into five parts, 100 words each. And one of them is uh, <clears throat> representations of gender. Why can't I just make a film for the sake of making a film? Hmm? Anyway, uh, when I got back, I was told by both Ginger and Dylan that the media teacher had said once again about the subject not being called gender and politics, so he's basically talking shit about me, behind my back. <laughs> so, I... I emailed my old RE teacher, because she's the one that said it, and she responded to me saying, actually, what I said was that media studies is a very vague name for the subject. It's studying gender and politics. So, I've misremembered what the RE teacher told me. So I forwarded that email to the media teacher and said, sorry, it's like, okay. Um, that's it. Yeah. This Twitter as of 18 past 5pm. Uh, my original wish actually was to open up for Dave Chappelle. But they couldn't make that happen. That's the best thing to do. Uh, apparently he's too busy. Getting rich, calling people faggots or some shit. <laughs> but apparently, when I do it, I'm being rude to all the people in the AIDS unit, and I need to leave immediately. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it, whatever. I guess D double standards. <laughs> but uh, my original real life Elon Musk. Twitter files and free speech suppression soon to be published on Twitter itself. The public deserves to know what really happened. Apple is also threatened with all Twitter from its app store, but won't tell us why. Keeper never had a chance. <clears throat> the Apple threaten removal from App Store to stop Twitter amnesty from happening today.
to close up Free Fires and Farms to comply with EU rules. This is a declaration of war on farmers. <clears throat> a bullet threat in the band's Twitter when CP ran wild on this platform only after Elon fought against it and raved it. Did they make that a threat? Someone just ran onto the pitch with a gay pride flag during the Portugal vs. Uruguay match and elicited massive boos. That didn't go the way they had hoped. Where is cringe? What does that say? Superman save Ukraine. Superman doesn't pay po play politics, fucking dickhead bumass. Nothing about the character. Respect for Iranian women. Do you combine three separate virtue signals in one? Women, Ukraine, and gay. Apple didn't threaten the reef them from App Store, but the threatened Twitter. Makes you wonder. <clears throat> exactly how a parlor was destroyed for its refusal to obey the censorship orders of DC Democrats. Apple and Google removed that from their stores. Scribbling parlor. Threats of doing the same to Twitter have clearly been raised. It's an insane abuse of monopoly power. <clears throat> Elon could threaten free speech on Twitter by literally allowing people to speak freely. Elon could this tweet violate the rules. It's called a meme, you joyless twat. So that's an actual person. He looks like a Madden Two Swords figure. U.S. is ruled by Batman villains. Paul, why are you retweeting that? You know nothing about Batman. In fact, Carl, you probably know nothing about Batman. Get Harry and Callum on it. Is it no? It's not Callum. Whoever. <clears throat> Keep forgetting the guy's name, but whatever. Why do clearly sick and disturbed people so often get into positions of power and influence? <clears throat> moment, really, in terms of um, ensuring that Twitter does not become a vector for misinformation. I mean, are you concerned about, the, you know, Elon Musk says there's more and more uh, subscribers coming online. Are you concerned about that? And what tools do you have? Who is it at the White House that is really keeping track of this? So, look, this is something that we're certainly uh, keeping an eye on. And, uh, Look, um, we, you know, we have always been very clear um, and that uh, when it comes to social media platforms, it is their responsibility uh, to make sure that um, when it comes to misinformation, when we when it comes to the hate that we're seeing, uh, that they, they take action, that they continue uh, to take action. Again, we're all keeping a close eye on this. We're all uh, uh, monitoring uh, what's what's currently uh, occurring, and uh, we see, you know, we see it with our own eyes of, of what you all are reporting, and just for for ourselves, what's happening on, on Twitter. Uh, but again, social media companies have a responsibility to prevent their platforms uh, from being used by any user uh, to incite violence, especially violence uh, directed at individual communities, as we have been seeing, and the president has been very clear on calling uh, that out. He'll continue to do that, uh, and we're going to continue to monitor the situation. Go ahead. Where is that happening? Show us proof. <clears throat> Absolutely insane watching the machine go after Elon for defending free speech. This whole exchange is the Kabuki theater. From the ridiculous leading question by the journalist to KJP's obviously pre-planned response. It's a battle for the future of civilization. Free speech is lost even in America. Tyranny is all that lies ahead. Elon, you kill people. Like, I'm, I'm not, like, joking around if I'm going to say that. You, like, see, like, big vehicles and all, especially ones that work on, like, construction sites, factories, etc. They're supposed to have a noise that plays when they reverse. Elon removed... The noise from all well, the ones in S factories because he didn't like the noise. It wasn't. It was annoying. It 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 triggered his anxiety. So we banned it, which put lives in danger. 
Back to November 21st, 2022, Twitter is no longer enforcing the Corona Misleading Information Policy. Good. If any bank dropped them, now ask why. Dramatic recovery in global sea ice confounds the net zero catastrophes. Oh. Twitter has begun process to reinstate some 62,000 suspended accounts with 10k followers and more including one account with over 5 million followers and 75 accounts with over 1 million followers. Apple's been helping dictatorial regimes around the world crush the sense of via censorship for years. No surprise, they're not about to do the same in the West. As it mulls kicking Elon's Twitter off the App Store, it has now been revealed that Apple restricted the use of AirDrop in China and moved the harm to organizational efforts of demonstrators protesting against CCP's lockdowns. <clears throat> the outrage of lockdown and vaccine mandates is only possible over the aid of strange and social media censorship. Now the regime is losing that weapon, they're terrified such abuses of power will become harder in the future. That's why they're all big mad. Paul, stop. This was last night in London. God help us. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's happening today with my, with my voice. UK census like Leicester and Birmingham have become the first UK cities to have my, minority majorities. All right. In England, in England's second city, white people make up 48.6% of the population, 5.5 million drop in the number of Christians, and a 44% rise in the number of people following Islam. Note that also that illegal immigrants don't fill in census forms. And we all knew this would happen. They're a private company, they can do what they want. The company does what it wants. They must be destroyed. Fauci once again defended brutal Chinese lockdowns, admitting that the communist government is forcibly locking people inside buildings, but adding that if it means people get vaccinated, then he's okay with it. Well, you know what, Anthony? There are vaccines in my dick. If you suck it, you'll get you'll get vaccines that you can give the people. The Disney Christmas show features a... Oh no, this is my fault, was that right? Uh, features group of child and holding up signs that spell it. We love you, Satan. Disney was founded by a Christian. Like, Walt Disney was such a hardcore Christian, he hated the Jews. Anyway, problem backlash for many. Obviously, the scene is intended for comic effect, but it isn't playing well. Well, if it's a joke, then it's a joke. I thought this was talking about the fact that Disney have said that they're revealing their first ever gay character in a Pixar film. Despite the fact there was a gay character in the Lightyear movie. Actually, it said Disney's first ever gay character, so that's, that can be anything. Disney, Pixar, uh, Star Wars, Marvel, even fucking National Geographic. There's gay characters in Marvel, there's... There might be gay characters in Star Wars I can't think of any right now. Although I think that blonde girl and the, the other girl that looks familiar but I can't tell what she's from. I, they have something between them that I think they're going to end up uh, going out by the end of, end of Andor. This point is, it's not the first openly gay character. It's probably not even the tenth openly gay character in from Disney. But I was with my friends when I noticed this and I showed it to him and they're like, maybe it's the fact that it's like the first only uh, gay teenage character, which is stupid because, I mean, they're just going to get more and more so, like, you know, first openly gay four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old. And then once that's all done, be first openly gay four-year-old with blonde hair 
four-year-old blonde hair and blue eyes. Excuse my stomach. Ron Paul reacted to the news that the Biden administration is struggling to advance some twenty billion in aid that was sent to Ukraine, noting that both political parties ignored his call for an inspector general to overlook it. Podcasts will be delayed by two or three days this week, but it will definitely be worth waiting for. Should be Thursday or Friday. From being the underground bare knuckled boxing world champion, to being king of the bouncers in London, to a career in movies all, all while surviving a few assassination attempts on, on along the way. Hold on. The hardest man in Britain, the governor. Yes, yes, haha, uh, Jane's giant penis, just watch the fucking video. Find a picture of me and Marcus from 2016 looking like at someone I didn't even know that was say that looked like someone else. Why does he look stoned? Man really just asked why a guy called Count Dankula looks stoned. One of the most mind-boggling things is there seems to be a huge push from the left wanting the government to control misinformation. This is literally getting the government to be the arbiter of what is true and false and then forcing it regulation and you want this. Look, right or left, in what universe does that seem like a good idea? <laughs> yeah, nilor am I. Wow, I'm not good there to make an impression. Wow, that's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. Okay, I'll, I'll read this because this I just read it in my head there, but I'll read it out loud. Stephen King Estate reveals he died years ago when his Twitter account is being run by a mentally ill, glue sniffing pirate with Tourette's. I mean, that honestly does sound like. You know, that that is what uh, Stephen King's Twitter is like. This isn't funny. Shut up. I always find it fascinating when people try and dictate what is and isn't funny. By the way, this is funny. They genuinely believe there is a set of rules about comedy that everyone should follow, and those rules conveniently always line up with their own worldview and politics. Funny that. This type of person who would go on stage absolutely bomb and then write an 8,000 word blog about how the I am funny, the audience are just wrong. 